So anyway, little kiddies, I'm checking out the DU recorder, seeing if this works really well. So in today's video, we're looking at some, well, I'm going to scale eBay for fake coins. So if you're not used to eBay, eBay sells a lot of things. So here's my past search history. So eBay Australia. If you want to get more stuff, you go to eBay US. For some reason, Australia just doesn't show up a lot of things. So we've got one fake there. We can see the Hong Kong banknote. I've uh, got books. I like fossils. And I've got pre-decimal coins. These are all pretty worn. That's pretty much bullion value for two shillings. Uh, and we've got some one piastra from Indochina. Old plots. Ooh, Megalodon. Sure. Oh, yeah, I didn't look up. Yeah, alcohol. Yum, yum. So, anyway, we have this seller here. And oh, this is a bit sad. The seller needs us not too sure. So, we'll look at the first one. Oh, now that coin is supposed to be 1865 $1, as we know. If you're not too sure if the United States did produce a coin like this. Um, look at the actual coin. To me, this looks steel. Now, not all steel is magnetic, uh, but it is cheap. Could be nickel-plated steel. 1865, they didn't have George Washington's head. So you go to Numista, go to coins, you've got banknotes. So you've got tokens in that as well. So you go down, so it's got all the countries. Okay, so you can, so this section is recent to medieval. Then down below you got ancient. And under that you have unrecognized states and micronations. Cyborga is actually quite interesting. Maybe I'll look at coins that later on. So we need to go to the United States of, okay, pre-federal, current coins. So, well, that's loading. We'll have a look at the other ones. We've got a one dollar from well, this is a copy of an American one cent, and you can see with the lettering, it's a little bit blurry, all joined together. United States coins definitely not like that. 1851, so they never issued this coin, and the seller has this coin as okay, they got. They have a caveat down below. So it's assumed they assumed it to be silver. And it did not stick to a magnet while hovering over a magnet. So I've tried. Maybe they could have put a weight and a dimension on it. So here's ooh. Oh. So look at that coin. Oh my god. That is so fakey fakey. That looks plated. So 1874. So before you actually buy coins, you need to know what you're buying. So this one looks more like an original coin. And as you can see, the value is 440. Be careful buying from these ones. This one, well, I'm not too familiar with US coins. This one looks like it's, you know, they've got good fine. Uh, but I have no problem with the actual metal. It does look silver, it's a bit dirty. And it's circulated, so it does have a lot of wear on the actual coin. This one, it, it just looks like it's never been circulated, but the, the silver coating or whatever it is, is just peeling off. What else do they have to sell? This is an inch, see? Yeah, that's it. If you can go down to the side and see if they sold any other coins. Oh yeah, they sold 50 cent coins. Whoop, 21 for less than $15 each. Yeah. So obviously, they might be a coin collector, I don't know. But that coin is definitely a fake coin. Okay, so down here. So this one has a token indicating it's not a real coin. So obviously they have a selling it not as a real 
one dollar C. Okay, in case you do not know the difference of a token, this is a token. Okay, Americans have never put the name United States of America on both sides of any coin. Okay, so that's an indication of. Well, so you got United States of America in the same on this side. It's not a plurius unum or. Uh, also, uh, in later in Goldby Trust. Uh, so, what we're looking at. So, that one's real coin. Uh, okay. Okay, this one. Do I have any other ones of this state? So, you, you need to go to Numista. I've got circulating coins, so I was also want the tokens as well. So, you can uh, find what coin you want. And add filters, so we just want a okay, so face value one dollar, and hopefully that would just it would probably screen out some of the one dollars, uh, but it's not perfect. So we go down 1951, and as you can see, 1951 they issued to see the Liberty as well as a, a gold coin, but we're not talking about a gold coin here. And there's a pattern coin, so it includes pattern coins, so there might be a pattern of 951, but no, no, there isn't. Here's uh, the other coin. Beautiful. So you get a lot of pattern coins, so this is the other coin we are looking at before. And you can see if in the past, United States have issued a 50 cent or $1 of that design, obviously they didn't. Now it could be like a one-off pattern or a private pattern uh, in which it wouldn't be included in here. It will be in the Exonumia, Exonumia catalog, which has all the tokens. But it doesn't have the note geld. So tokens are private issued. Note gelds are issued by government bodies, smaller government bodies, cities, states. Uh, the railway, some places like that. <sighs> and all the tokens, private tokens, should be in this one. Even the older ones, but sometimes they include it in here, which is a bit sad. So here we go, 50 cent coin. You know, I just, oh, look at that. You've got Google eyes. And the beard, that looks a bit weird. Look at the ear. The ear looks like a E. It's a bit weird. Crown looks weird, the lettering looks weird. So this is definitely not a real one dollar from eighteen sixty six in Hong Kong. Looks like it's a, a cast silver coin. Mate steel. So what you need to do is you go down, you got these other coins of Edward the Seventh and Here's a silver coin, so this one, 1902. And look at the details on the actual head. You can see the ear, looks like an ear, doesn't look like an E. No Google eyes, the nose. The nose, let's compare the nose. Yeah, this nose looks like it's fake. It's like a, it's like one of those oh, little costumes, you know, you got the nose of the, 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 the beard that you can wear. Oh, that that looks like what's happening there in the eyes. Oh. And also the back of the head. And also just the dimensions. So the, the width of the head is just a lot bigger than what it is on here. Now if we look down here. Uh, oops, which one? This one? Yeah, that definitely looks totally fake. And also the crown. I don't see the top of the crown there. So so just be careful when you buy these. It'll be good. No, so this seller's selling it for $1. So basically, uh, you'd actually yeah, buy it for a dollar. It's probably all it's worth. Just as an education tool for other people. Okay. So let's see if we can find other tokens. Does this one have any other tokens? Yeah, this one doesn't look great. Oh boy, just the, that one just looks like a, a fake tone steel coin. 
Then we got blurry images. So let's see if this sell on that. And and the price as well. Morgan dollars are definitely never that price. Is it a Carson mint? No. Okay, so this is definitely a copy. Okay, silver metal souvenir. So it's a souvenir mean that they are putting out that it's not real, but they're still trying to get around uh, collectors. So this one also looks fake. This one, the eagle doesn't look really well. So let's have a look at the real coin. This one's been cleaned, but I have no problem with the actual eagle. And if we look at that, look at the the wings. They're definitely a standout. Just the hair details. This is supposed to be a CC Carson City. And look at the price. You're not going to buy Carson City for that price. So, and yeah, yeah. You look at the back. There's, there's a fossil, fossil dinosaur, dinosaur in it. Okay, so it's definitely, definitely not a real coin. So. Uh, can we find any more? Just very interesting. Oh, I want to get some Ava Ava coins. Not hey, okay, this one. Yeah, this, this one, one looks, looks like it's cast, cast as well. You can, can see the peeing on the coin. And also the yeah, edge, the rim. Oh, looks a bit strange. And. This is the toning on it as well. So can we find a real coin? Yeah, we've got, you know, these are not rare coins. So look at the rim on this coin, looks pretty good. Toning looks good, just looks well circulated. Lettering. So you can tell this is a silver coin. It's been handled, so these areas are Okay, so these areas here just been handled too much, so they're not dirty. In between here is dirty, but the design looks pretty good. So if you're going to buy these piaster coins, you need to know the actual details. I'm not too familiar with them, but if you are not sure, you can ask on Facebook groups, or you can ask on a coin shop to go and visit them so here's another one yeah pretty it looks like so it's been cleaned in the past and we'll go no we can't do that so you can see you can go along there's quite a few piaster coins that are for sale most of them are low grade but obviously they're quite expensive so let's have a look and see if we can find other fake coins. No, those ones look okay to me. The V coins. This one's yeah, a little bit toning. I wouldn't pay that much for it. Two up coins. And so does this seller anyway? <laughs> so uh, let's see if we can find anything else. Oh, it's uh, China, China, one, you, one, silver. Now, these are a favourite of, uh, yeah. This is on the first line, you've got one fake coin. You can tell that it was a fake toning. It doesn't have much wear on the extra coin, just that. The whole dragon looks a bit weird. Okay, these ones here, these are just recent. Okay, and you've got to be careful with banknotes. These are not original banknotes as well. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if in the future they start to make those that are counterfeit also because uh, a lot of these are low mint okay what is this one 
That just looks well circulated, but the design looks okay, so I've no problem with that. But I wouldn't buy it for that price. That is a one new one. <clears throat> okay, here's another one that says charm. Okay, here's another coin that's heavily counterfeited. 934 but i have no problem with that design no that looks quite nice just a little bit of toning on it but if you go to numister and you look up chinese coins again so you need to go to china and when you go to china you've got different periods so what we need is the republic so this is what 934 uh, but I think this catalogue needs to be updated. So we've got your one. And so oh, these have original coins. So you can get a feel of the design. So what we want is one new one. Okay, so we probably have to go that page four. No, 20, half, okay, you've got 50 fen. Okay. Okay, one you one. So here we are. And as you can see, you got a lot of pattern coins. So a lot of the counterfeits are also pattern coins as well. Yeah, very, very interesting. Okay, good dragon. So maybe next page. you got a lot of gold coins so a lot of these are pretty valuable so these are the ones that they would counterfeit okay where's the boat one now oh, here we go so we've got a few pattern coins and what coin was that one that we looked at before no this one okay so put that over there So it says Yup Mum. This is Yup Yun. So this is a coin we're looking at here. So if we look at that one, this one's missing the actual clouds at the top. Sailboat. So if you compare those two, so, so what, what you, you can do is you can no, split the screen, put this one here, uh, minimize that one, put it over there, and then you can compare both of these coins. And to me, there's some differences that that could be a striking difference with the actual design of the boat. I don't have much problem now. Now the birds up the top might be a problem, so that might be the issue. And there's no sun, so is there another coin? Ah, uh, yeah, here yeah, this one, but it's in copper. Pattern, pattern, silver pattern. Oh yeah, so they did issue them about the sun, about the birds. Although it doesn't look like they issued them for circulation, so now I'm pretty suspicious of uh, this coin. Silver pattern. So what's the date on that coin? 23. This was issued in... So if you want to know the dates, you've got, got 24, 25, not 23. So that will be this one trying to copy. But it's only issued in copper. Yeah, anyway. So yeah, just be careful. The, these date system doesn't match up in this metal. Did they, did they say metal? Silver, obviously not. It looks pretty good strike. Anyway. 
Uh, maybe I could be mistaken. Maybe if you look at the other coins, yeah, then yeah, did they sell them pretty good coins? If you go to the expensive, yeah, this one, yeah, that one looks okay. Rick's dollar, yeah, yeah, Gothic Florin, yeah. So most of its other coins looks okay. So maybe I could be mistaken on that. Maybe they could be. I don't know. Need to investigate a lot further. So that's what I mean. You just need to oh, just investigate when you purchase coins because there are a lot of uh, fake. There are a lot of uh, coins that were not minted, so they're not real. And uh, some of them are indicators being fake and some are not. Anyway, thank you very much and have an awesome coin of being there collecting time. Thank you and goodbye.